What do you make of uh, the Matt Weiss situation and more importantly about who's going to take his place and how important is that? Uh, of course it's important. Of course they did have two uh, offensive coordinators. So you do wonder, would they just give it all to Sharon Moore? I do think Harbaugh likes to have two guys there or one be the quarterback guy, quarterback coach guy or the offensive or the passing game coordinator or whatever. As far as with Mike, Matt Weiss, I know I, I really don't know other than um, I've been told it's not like some of the real nefarious things that people have sort of batted around in their heads, um, violated university policy, whatever that is, with email or whatever. Um, but I don't know. I, I think um, they were looking not looking to uh, move him out per se, but I do think they were looking to shake things up just a little bit. Certainly the red zone offense had been a, a concern. So it's unfortunate and I assume unplanned, certainly. And But they have enough pieces there. And, and like I said, maybe Sharon Moore just takes, takes it over completely and you bring in just a quarterback coach. Can they move on from everything that's happened since they were in Arizona and since they've been back with, with the Jim Harbaugh drama and now Matt Weiss and, and the, the notice of allegations? Can they? How much do you think it will affect them? I think it'll affect them. I do, and 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 I don't think it's an easy move on. Not just from uh, replacing Weiss, but the NCA thing. And people can you know say nothing burger or hamburger or whatever. It is affecting Harbaugh. I think. I mean, he. I do think either he's girding for a fight against the NCA or is looking for some other avenue to handle it or whatever. But I, I don't think that's going away easily and uh, he you know jim harb whatever you want to say he does believe in what he believes in and he believes he didn't lie to the ncaa so that that still has to be settled one way or the other and i think that's going to come to a head i don't know when but uh, it has to be resolved one way or the other and 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 that's what's holding up uh any talk of a contract extension or a different contract it's holding up a little bit of everything, to be honest. And is it, like, debilitating? No, but is it concerning or uh, slightly damaging? Yeah, I think it could be. There's no way they could convince, even if they wanted to, Brian Greasy to leave the NFL. He's done a good job with your boy Purdy. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, and if you recall, um, didn't Brian Greasy and Jim Harbaugh kind of, didn't Greasy go after him a little bit on yes, he criticized. Twitter during some rough yeah. times? yes. Yes, yeah, indeed. I'm but not sure. Then again, so did Mike Hart at, yeah. at one point. So that's true. That's true. I mean, listen, Harbaugh wants to work with great people and even opinionated people at times. But uh, so yeah, I suppose that could be repaired at some point. 